call this meeting of your North City Council to order. Autumn, please call the roll. Sorry. This is jurisdictional. A little technical difficulty for a second. Miss Hall. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Marmy. Mr. Rath. Here. Mr. Mangus. Here. Mr. Blake. Here. Mr. Bubb. Here. Mr. Koss. Here. Mrs. Floyd. Here. And Mr. Frazier. We have nine here this evening. I'd like to welcome our newest councilman, Mr. Mangus. We have eight here this evening. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll get it right pretty soon. Are you? You teach math? Maybe you could help. <laughs> history, sorry, I, I did history because I can't balance a check. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Mr. Mangus, who just got sworn in about 15 minutes ago, as our newest fourth ward councilman. So, welcome. Can you please rise for the invocation, followed by the pledge of allegiance. Let us pray, and in the first few moments, may you bow your heads and think of prayers for your own personal needs. Lord, we come to you in your presence with thanksgiving for the spring, for the opportunities to live in a free land. Bring harmony to our council, our city, our state, and our nation. We ask your guidance in our meetings. Bless those in need, bless those in joy. Bless those who look to you for help and for guidance. Be with us all as we make decisions for the city, and we ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Next on the agenda, we have caucus. That's the time for council to discuss anything pertaining to the agenda tonight. Do we have anything? Mr. President. This is Floyd. Motion to excuse Mr. Marmy and Mr. Frazier. Motion. Motion by Mrs. Floyd, second by Mr. Rath. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That passes. Thank you, Mrs. Floyd. Next, we have the minutes of our March 20th, 2017 council meeting. Do we have a motion to approve those? So moved. Motion by Mr. Johnson, second by Mr. Rath. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That passes. Thank you. Next, under appointments, we have the appointment of our Charter Review Commission. Uh, per our charter, this happens every five years to review our charter. Uh, we have five folks here that uh, uh, have put in their name. We had about... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, uh, one party and four of another. So, for our charter, three folks from one party and two folks from another are, are how that lines up. Um, just to give you, a, to talk about these folks a little bit, we have Jim Holman, who was on the Charter Review Commission five years ago. He works at Community Bank. Uh, Joe Goddard, um, he works for the Mental Health Association. Rhonda Loomis, a 40, former city council person. Uh, Daniel Crawford, uh, he ran for council at large and works at Giant Eagle. And Chase Galoni, who works at First Federal. Uh, I've talked to these folks. I don't believe anyone has any hidden agendas. I think they all have an open mind about reviewing our charter. So uh, possibly we could just vote on all five of these. If we'd like, is there a motion to approve these? So motion. motion by Mr. Rass, second by Mr. Johnson. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Both seems on. That passes. Thank you. Next, we have reports of standing committees. We have four this evening, one from finance, one from service, one from safety, and one from economic development. Without objection, those will be received and filed. We have one report this evening from Chief Connor, uh, our fire department annual report that he uh, presented during committee. Without objection, that will also be received and filed. And under communications, we have three communications from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control. Transfer application from Newark Metropolitan Management to Indus Newark Hotel, uh, the Double Tree Hotel. A new application for MJ Sharp Company at 16 West Main Street. And a new application for Deb's, Deborah's Pizza at 318 Hudson Avenue. Without objection, those of you received and filed. There is no public hearing this evening. That uh, is going to be rescheduled for two weeks. So we'll just put that on the agenda for now. Next, we have comments from citizens. There are two places from comments from citizens. One is now and one is after the legislation. This is not a debate with council. This is just your opportunity to be heard. 
Do we have anyone that would like to speak in this first section this evening? You just raise your hand. Okay. We'll move on to ordinances on the first reading, 17-10. Ordinance 17-10 by Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Rapp. It's an ordinance to provide for the issuance of $370,000 of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of bonds for the purpose of paying the cost of improvements to the city's landfill and all necessary appurtenances thereto in declaring an emergency. You've heard the first reading of 17-10, but it is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mrs. Floyd. Make a motion to adopt. Uh, Ordinance 17-10. Motion by Mrs. Second. Floyd. Second by Mr. Buck. Is there any discussion on 17-10? Mrs. Floyd? Just gets an emergency because there is a deadline and I understand in uh, of this one and the next three there is nothing starts until the legislation is passed and that's why they're all emergencies. Thank you Mrs. Okay. Floyd. Anyone else? Autumn, please call the roll to vote. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Mr. Rapp? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. Mr. Frazier? That passes 8 0. Let's see, I'll put that in one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, we have ordinance 17 11. Ordinance 17 11 by Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Rapp. It's an ordinance to provide for the issuance of not to exceed $2 million of bond anticipation notes in the anticipation of the issuance of bonds for the purpose of paying the cost of Buckeye Corridor stormwater plan sewer improvements and all necessary appurtenances thereto in declaring an emergency. Once again, this is on the first reading, but it is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President, Mrs. Floyd. Make a motion to adopt 17-11. Motion, motion by Mrs. Floyd, second by Mr. Johnson. Is there any discussion on 17-11? <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Floyd. Anything else? Autumn, please call the roll vote. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Mr. Rapp? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. And Mr. Frazier? 17-11 passes 8-0. Next, we have 17-12. Ordinance 17-12 by Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Rapp. It's an ordinance to provide for the issuance of not to exceed $1 million of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of bonds for the purpose of paying the cost of water system improvements and all necessary appurtenances thereto in declaring an emergency. Once again, this is also on the first reading, but it is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President, Mrs. Floyd. to adopt 17-12. Motion by Mrs. Floyd. Second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion on 17-12? <laughs> Mrs. Floyd. <laughs> Any other discussion? Seeing none, all please call the roll vote. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Mm -hmm. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. And Mr. Frazier? 17-12 passes 8-0. Finally, on the first reading, we have 17-13. Ordinance 17-13 by Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Rapp. It's an ordinance consolidating two bond anticipation note issues of the City of North Ohio and declaring an emergency. 17-13 is also on the first reading, but it is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President, Mrs. Floyd. Motion to adopt 17-13. Motion by Mrs. Floyd. Motion. Second by Mr. Johnson. Is there any discussion on 17-13? Again, there's a deadline. So. Thank you, Mrs. Floyd. Anyone else? Autumn, please call the roll to vote. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Mr. Rad? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. And Mr. Frazier? 17-13 passes 8-0. Now we go on to resolutions on the second reading, 17-15. Resolution 17-15 by Mr. Marmy, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Koss, Mr. Rapp, Mr. Johnson, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of Newark to apply for financial support from the state of Ohio 2017 Nature Works grant. You've heard the second reading of 17-15. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mrs. Floyd. Make a motion to adopt resolution 17-15. Sure. Motion by Mrs. Floyd, second by Mr. Cost. Is there any discussion on 17-15? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll to vote. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Mr. Rapp? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. 
Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. yes. Mr. Frazier? 17-15 uh, passes 8-0. Next we go on to 17-16. Resolution 17-16 by Mr. Harmy, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Cross, Mr. Rath, Mr. Johnson. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of North to apply for funding from the United States Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance under the Bulletproof Vest Partnership Grant Program. Convert to second reading of 17-16. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mrs. Floyd. Make a motion to adopt resolution 17-16. Motion by Mrs. Floyd. Second. Second by Mr. Cost. Is there any discussion on 17-16? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll of vote. Ms. Hall. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Marmy. Mr. Rath. Yes. Mr. Mangus. Yes. Mr. Blake. Yes. Mr. Bell. Yes. Mr. Cost, yes. Mrs. Floyd, yes, and Mr. Frazier. 17-16 passes 8-0. And finally, on the second reading, we have 17-19. Resolution 17-19 by Mr. Cost, Mr. Floyd, Mr. Rath, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Marmy, and Mr. Frazier. A resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. Referred to second reading of 17-19. What is your wish? Chairman. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Mr. Johnson yes. motions. Pass 17-19. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Hall. Is there any discussion on 17-19? Seeing none. Oh, this is, well, this is for equipment that we need in the community. So. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Otto, please call the roll to vote. Ms. Hall. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Marmy. Mr. Rapp. Yes. Mr. Mangus. Yes. Mr. Blake. Yes. Mr. Bubb. Yes. Mr. Cost. Yes. Mrs. Floyd. Yes. And Mr. Frazier. 17-19 passes 8-0. Resolution is on the first reading, 17-20. Resolution 17-20 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Cross, Mrs. Floyd. A resolution authorizing and directing the Director of Public Service to advertise for bids and enter into contracts subject to the appropriation of funds for various construction projects. 17-20 will be held for two weeks for a second reading. And finally this evening we have 17-21. Resolution 17-21 by Mr. Rapp, Mr. Cross, Mrs. Floyd, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of North to repair and submit an application to the Ohio Department of Transportation for 2017 Transportation Alternatives Program to partially fund the downtown enhancements project on State Route 13, 4th Street, from Locust Street to Walnut Street. And 17-21 will be held for two weeks for a second reading. And that concludes our legislation this evening. Thank you for your attention. Next on the agenda, we go to our second opportunity for comments from citizens. Again, this is not a debate with council. This is just your chance to be heard. Is there anyone that would like to speak? Quiet group this evening. No scouts want to say anything? Big chance. Okay. Next, we'll move on to miscellaneous. Anybody from the uh, administration this evening? Mr. Wong. Good evening. I just want to give... Uh, congratulations to both the Newark Division of Fire and the Newark Division of Police. We all know there was a significant fire at Owens last week. Um, not only do I want to commend the Newark Fire Department for an outstanding job, but all Licking County Fire Agencies that responded and assisted with a, a large fire. Uh, next, I want to congratulate the Police Department. An off-duty officer spotted uh, Justin Stanley today in the city of Newark, who is the second of the prison escapees and contacted two other on-duty police officers and the three apprehended that subject today. So we're down to one, uh, a gentleman by the name of Troy Bird, who's from Champaign County. So we'll, I'm sure they'll round up the third, fourth width, but one in Heath yesterday and one in Newark today. So it was a fine job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Steve. Our award-winning auditor, Mr. Johnson. I'm going to pass to Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Assistant Law Director Clippinger. I will pass, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Hall. I will pass the same. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Hall. Uh, yes, I just uh, want to take the opportunity to thank uh, Director Rose <coughs> and uh, the Street Department. Uh, <coughs> the, uh, they have um, taken care of an alley and made several people very happy in, in a swift time. So thank you, uh, Director Rhodes. 
Um, also, I want to thank um, Director Baum, Chief Connell, and Captain Riley for their ongoing support uh, in the project we're doing at COTC, the Pay It Forward grant. Um, I know they're spending extra time, and I really appreciate it, so the students. Uh, we're not quite done yet, so but I wanted to thank you, and they thank you as well. With that, I pass. Thank you, Ms. Hall. <coughs> Mr. Johnson. Well, I want to welcome Mr. Magnus to our council. And uh, I'm really pleased to see all the Boy Scouts here. And you might find it hard to believe, but I was one of you <laughs> <laughs> a lot of years ago and went to a national jamboree at Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And uh, it was quite exciting because the President of the United States spoke. Uh, president Eisenhower wasn't president yet, but he spoke. And so I saw quite a few celebrities. So uh, I'm very proud of my time in scouting, and I hope you're very proud of your time in scouting also. And so we really, really welcome you. And with that, I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Rapp? Thank you. I wanted to say welcome to Mr. Mangus as well. Uh, welcome to the scouts. I also was a, a scout. Up here. Although I never saw any presidents, but I did find out, guys, there's no such thing as a left-handed fired smoke diverter. <laughs> Just so you know that. When they tell you to go get one for another camp, it doesn't exist. Um, I'll call this the scout an initiation. Uh, I'll call service committee meeting and I'll pass. Mr. Magus. Thank you so much, Mr. Ellington. Um, I'd first like to thank everybody who has been so supportive and, and congratulatory to myself. Um, I'd also really like to thank the administration and Mr. Ellington for uh, uh, making sure that I was on council this evening. I was <laughs> voted in last Friday evening, and, and so in, in about 72 hours, got all the paperwork done. I greatly appreciate that to make sure the fourth board was represented um, tonight. Um, my only other comment this evening is regarding the um, Charter Commission. And I didn't actually vote. When, when the vote came up, I abstained. And partly because I wasn't involved in the discussions and the formation of that, and that's perfectly understandable, as I've only been on council about uh, 31 minutes now. And, but I would really like the council, or, or the Charter Commission, um, as it meets, to consider eliminating partisanship in local government. Um, I would like to see the Charter Commission. I know that Mr. Ellington's hands are tied, the administration's tied by the, by the current charter, but I think it would have been wonderful if we might have had two Democrats, two Republicans, and an independent on the Charter Commission. Again, I understand that, that we're currently tied by the, by the current charter, and perhaps even considering um, nonpartisan elections in the future. And just, just some suggestions to try to reduce the partisanship that I think exists not only here locally, but also in Ohio in general and across the nation. And with that, I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Magus. Just, just an FYI, because I know you probably would not know this, I would say, if, if you do want to abstain, usually in caucus would be the time you might want to say that, and then we'll make sure we get it out. <laughs> thank you. Mr. Blake. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I want to make two announcements with the uh, uh, two events happening in South End. Uh, the first event is on April 13th at 6 o'clock. It is a series that we're beginning called Word of Mouth. Um, this uh, series is going to be of oral history projects of families and neighbors that have uh, lived in the neighborhood for a few generations. And we're going to have some living room conversations about them being able to share their experiences, not only just living in the neighborhood, but also as our city as a whole. And it's uh, going to be a real nice event to, uh, or a real nice series uh, to build relationship amongst people uh, in the community. Uh, the second event that we're having is on April 22nd. We have a spring cleanup. This will be our sixth annual spring cleanup and it starts at 8 30 at st john's church and um, i need to get with director Rhodes because i need to figure out when our tire amnesty day is for the city because last year we pulled out about 80 tires um, out of the neighborhood and whatnot so we'll need to find a way to dispose of those so i need to get with director Rhodes about that um, i want to welcome mike uh, welcome to council um, looking forward to working with you and um, you know there's a lot of exciting things happening in the city right now with the vision plan and uh, the downtown project well construction projects all over the city but welcome to that and look forward to working with you that'll pass thank you mr blake mr Bob. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I need to call personnel committee meeting for next Monday. Uh, <laughs> second item, um, wanted to pass on for anybody that didn't know. It was brought to my attention. I, I guess I saw it online today that uh, Jimmy McKeecher, Crazy Jimmy, passed away um, this afternoon. I, many of you know him. He uh, is a proud veteran who used to take pictures all around town. He used to come down to council meetings, a lot of swear games and so forth. So um, my uh, condolences to his family. And, uh, so he'll be missed. He's been in bad health for a while, but uh, he'll, be, he'll be missed by everyone. And um, finally, uh, Boy Scouts, I certainly wish you guys the best. Thanks for hanging in here tonight. Patience. And I think uh, you ought to hit Mr. Uh, Doug Vermont up for some ice cream tonight. I think he should die. <laughs> so, uh, with that, I'll pass. Thank you. I think that would be the least he could do. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goss. I'd also like to congratulate our police and fire departments for their for their fine work uh, this week and every week, for that matter. I could welcome Mike to council and uh, welcome to the Boy Scouts. Nice to see you all here. I hope you're finding this interesting. That'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Scott. This is Floyd. Uh, I'm calling a finance committee for Mr. Marmy, and I want to thank Mr. Marmy for not being here tonight when there were six things that needed to be voted on <laughs> <laughs> finance committee. That's why I made all the motions, because I'm vice chair. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to Mike Mangus. Uh, <clears throat> this is an interesting journey. Ten years ago this month is when I was appointed to council and sworn in right before my first council meeting. So it um, brings back memories. So it was, it was very interesting. Um, I want to thank Joe Paul. I had to call him. Several people have been concerned about the burned out house on Fairfield Avenue and he told me exactly where things stand and, and I was able to convey that to the people who had, <coughs> who had contacted me. Um, I'm sorry to hear about Jimmy. Um, Jimmy was, has been going to my church periodically and he was there either two or three weeks ago. He'd come in his wheelchair and, and uh, sit there and um, and I, I, he did a great deal for the community. I, I really appreciate him. And on a sort of comical note, Jeremy mentioned all the construction projects around town. I happen to live in the middle of them. And trying to get from point A to point B is more than a little difficult sometimes. And I mentioned that to Mr. Moorhead. And his answer was, well, he thinks it might be a way to help people get around Alzheimer's disease because you have to really think and plan before you go anywhere in town. You have to say, where am I going and how am I going to get there? On the lighter note. And Boy Scouts, we're glad you're here tonight. Thank you. Is that a, no. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add my welcome to Mr. Mangus. Welcome. Also, welcome to the Scouts. I was also a Scout, not quite as long as Mr. Johnson, but uh, it happened quite, it's been quite a while ago. So, uh, Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Uh, our next committee meeting will be next Monday at 5.30 here in this room. And our next full council meeting will be two weeks from tonight, April 17th at 7 p.m. Is there a motion adjourned? Motion, 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 motion by motion. Mr. Johnson, second by Mr. Koss. All in the favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you.